It's estimated 50 million individuals worldwide are being trafficked or living in modern slavery. With this Sunday marking World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, two organizations are teaming up in Luzerne County to spread awareness. 2822 Sydney Costas joins us live in Wilkesbury with how you can get involved. Hello, Sydney. Hi, good morning, Mark. Yes, we're here in Public Square in Wilkesbury, where in just about an hour, the Red Sand Project will be kicking off. I'm joined now by Tammy Burke with the Victims Resource Center. Tammy, thanks so much for joining us. Now, your organization is one of the two putting this Red Sand Project on. Now, what is the project? So the Red Sand Project was created actually by Molly Gotcham, and she's from Texas, an artist, and what it does is it shows, it represents all the victims that kind of fall through the cracks. So the importance of doing that is to let the community know that we do have an issue with track eating here. It brings aware, awareness, but also some conversations regarding that. And you're holding the sand that you guys will be laying on the sidewalk. And like you said, it catches the eyes. I mean, this is done across the entire nation. So many different organizations in Luzerne, Lackawanna and surrounding counties have participated in this and it's stirred some conversations. And I and I want because I really want to make the community aware that it's happening here. It's not as we see it. I think people think it's from other countries. Um, I think that they get confused with um, the difference between consent and cooperation when it comes with victims that um, are being sex trafficked, and they think that they're actually doing that on their own. We were speaking earlier this morning, and I was extremely shocked at the statistics happening in Luzerne County. Can you shed some light on it? So Pennsylvania ranks ninth in the states for cases in of, of trafficking. Um, but Luzerne County, Lackawanna County, actually Wilkes-Barre and Scranton are one of the hot spots, you know, that is told by some of the phone calls that are made to hotlines and tip lines that tell you where things are happening. It's huge here. What are the signs some people should be looking out for? I think um, what, what they need to look out for is maybe somebody that's with somebody that's very controlling. Um, sometimes tattoos on them that, that mark um, dollar signs, property of. Um, somebody who says they're from the area, but they have no idea where anything is at because they haven't left, you know, where they're put for the day. Um, somebody that's very, has a high anxiety, that's fearful of speaking out, has little or no possessions with them. And if someone sees these signs and may be concerned about it, how, what do they then do with that? They can call the Pennsylvania State Police tip line. Um, if somebody wants just to call and, and, and re refer somebody or need some support regarding that, they can call our hotline at 570-823-0765. And what does it mean to you with the community coming out for this project? I think it's amazing because we need, we need as many people as we can to kind of combat that, but also to support victims so they know that there are people in the community that care. Thank you so much for all the work you do in Luzerne County here. And Mark will be here all throughout the afternoon and especially at 12 p.m. when the Red Sand Project kicks off. Back to you. Really are some eye-raising statistics. Thank you, Sydney.